Good morning, dear students. In today's session, we will learn about the network models. So here we are saying transmission technology. We can categorize as broadcast network or point-to-point -point network. Broadcast broadcast means what? रहेगा उसमें क्या आएगा? Where all the machines on the network use all share. कम्युनिकेशन चैनल मतलब वहाँ पे क्या है जितनी भी तुम्हारे वहाँ पे मशीन्स है जो भी जिसे भी नेटवर्क चाहिए ऑल दीज विल शेयर ऑल दू इज विल शेयर चैनल दैट इज शेयर एंड वेन एवर वी आर ट्रांसफरिंग वन मैसेज दैट टाइम दैट शॉर्ट मैसेजेस वी कैन से एज अ पैकेट But if we will do the point-to-point -point network connections, there there are many connections between individual pair of machines. That is, we are saying as a point-to-point. -point. They will not share. So here, when we are going from source to destination, packet on the type of network may have go through different intermediate. Computers before they will go to their desired destination. So now we can move to the network models. There we use the concept of layers in our day-to-day -day life also. So if we are communicating through postal mail, the process of sending a letter to a friend could be complex if there will. no services available from the post office so here we can see about the layered task so the concept of layer we are using you can see here the diagram when we will have three important persons involved like sender receiver and carrier carrier means what who carries the gift box gift box from one city to other like anaraksha bandhan you are supposed to send gift to your friend your sister who is not at your place what you will do you will gift by purchasing anything online so what we are saying you are sending so you are sender receiver who will receive like your sister and who will give that gift to her that is nothing but a carrier so now you can see here the diagram here we can say in the layer task hierarchy of the task the point to be noted here is in order to complete a task in day to day life small actions are been done in hierarchical that is nothing but the layered manner so that's why we are saying here layer task so at the sender what he will do get the gift item pack it in the box write the destination address on the box middle layer carry the address box to the office of courier company lower layer diagram dekh lo wahan pura diya hai i have written here x explanation about the example which we have written over exactly same we are explaining here so lower layer what it will do give the box to the person who will take it to destination city and what is the work which will be done by receiver what is the task of lower layer the box is delivered to the courier company in the destination city middle layer the box is carried by another person to destination address and box is delivered now upper layer dekh lo wahan pe upper layer what it will do receive the box unpack it see the gift so now we are saying here in the layer task and here it is the discussion demonstrate the important task are carried out how 
by higher level whereas the simple tasks are carried out by middle and the lower layer so in the network protocol layer architecture we are using now you can see here about the osi model we are saying here when we are using software in a network it is equally important exactly like a hardware the network software is highly structured nowadays so most network is organized in the form of series of layers how just now we have seen the number of layers the name of each layer the content of each layer the function of each layer differed from one network to the other and the purpose of each layer is to offer certain services to the higher level layer n on one machine will communicate with layer n on another destination machine but at that time they are supposed to follow the rules conventions are collectively known as a protocol so here we are saying n so there will be the n protocol now we will see about the osi model the users of computer network are located over wide physical range that is all over world so that osi model was established in 1947 international standard organization iso its multinational body dedicated to worldwide agreement on international standard iso stand that cover all aspects of communication and that we are saying as osi model it was it was first introduced in late 1970s so osi open system interconnection model so we are saying here we are saying computer network are located over wide range so to ensure that nation wide and worldwide data communication system can be developed and these are compatible to each other an international group of standard has been developed this standard will fit into network which has been developed by international organization standardization international organization of standardize standardization iso so here we are saying that model as a osi osi reference model so it will be consist of eight layers layer 0 to layer 7 you can see here it is composed of actually seven layer but here we are using transmission media also so that we can consider as a layer 0 so that's why i am saying that as it but if we will talk only about these layers these are exactly 7 layer 1 that is the physical layer 2 data link layer 3 network 4 transport fifth session sixth presentation and seventh application you are supposed to follow their name and their sequence so here we are saying osi which will give us iso osi reference model that will give seven layers it defines seven layers in the complete communication system with transmission media the lowest layer is the physical and always highest level is the application you can see here so this model is based on proposal developed by iso it is called iso osi reference model because it is designed to deal with open system so now 
we are supposed to see thoroughly about all these layers see here the diagram these layers each layer uses service of layer immediately osl model allows complete interoperability between the layers we will see the work of each layer physical layer what it will do make and break connections that will define voltage data rates that will convert bit into electrical signal that will decide which transmission media you will require simplex half duplex full duplex that all physical activities will be done by physical layer now data link as the name suggest it will used for error error correction error detection synchronization to assemble outgoing ingoing ongoing messages into a frame now network layer what it will do of course as the name define it will related with the network so routing of signals divide the outgoing message into packets to act as network controller for routing data transport layer what it will do it will use for transmission decide whether transmission should be parallel single path multiplexing segmenting splitting to break data into the smaller unit that all things will be done by transport layer session layer 